How's it going YouTube? We are actually running a little bit late so I gotta make this intro quick but we're headed over to Jonathan's house to put a new dash into his second gen so we're about to hop into the 1500 right here but I wanted to give you an update on the 2500. We did find some tires for the Cummins. I was going to run a set of either Nitto 420s or a set of Toyo Proxies but these popped up on Marketplace and I, they were so cheap I couldn't pass up the deal. As you can see, there's no dry rot and the tread's actually really good. So we are gonna run a set of all terrains, a little bit bigger than I wanted to. Like I said, I kinda wanna go back to the street setup on the Cummins and then leave this one as like the mud country type Boba truck. But anyways, I couldn't really pass up on this deal. So I went ahead and snagged these. But like I said, we're running late right now. So let's go ahead and hop into the 1500, get over to Jonathan's house and check out this new dash that we're putting in his truck. All right, made it over to Jonathan's. This is the truck the dash is going into, if you can't tell. He's already took the old dash out. If you guys didn't know, we did a cab swap on this truck. So we obviously put the main on here. Uh, I didn't record a video on it. This is the bed off of the truck that it came off of. We're gonna end up wrapping it or painting it. But he has already done the carpet, seats, he's already dyed them. He's, got a, he's done a lot of work so far with this truck. But today he's gonna be working on the dash. You guys are curious what dash that he went with. It's the LRB. It's a whole thing aluminum. Yeah. It's really light. I mean, you can't even tell it's on my finger, but it seems pretty well made. He's already got it all put together. That our LRB is a company name. But we're going to go ahead and, uh, I guess, get cracking at it. It came all the directions. We got one bracket that he's trying to figure out. Messaging the dude right now on Instagram. Yeah, the guy that is running the company seems to be really cool. He's, I mean, he's getting right back to Jonathan super quick, so I'll give him props. It came in all the directions. Obviously, all the layouts and where everything goes. He'll, he'll email you the directions so you have it in color also. I've been looking at back and forth between my phone and these. But the dash, I was a little skeptical on, but now seeing it in person, I mean, we haven't put it in the truck, obviously, but just sitting here on the ground, it looks really good. So I can't wait to see what it looks like inside the truck. This is the glove department, and this will be the piece over here. These will go on the sides and get your defrost vent. So this is where your steering wheel will go, so kind of sit underneath the dash, kind of like so. The dash is roughly in right now putting in the, well, attempting to put in the climate controls. As you see, everything kind of just pops in from the rear. You kind of see the ducts right here. Obviously go for your climate. Uh, we already got those bottom brackets turned, or not turned on, put on. Already got that in. We got the three up top, just kind of loosely put in place if we have to shut the dash around a little bit. Speedometer will also hook up from the back side. Honestly, not, not as bad as I thought it was going to be to put it in. Everything's going along pretty smoothly so far. We're on the driver's side now, putting the speedometer in. You kind of see the bracket right here that's holding in the bottom. Now we're up top. The AC vent right here has given us a little problem. The speedometer is actually hitting it up here. So we're just kind of figuring out. It comes with a spacer. Do you have that spacer? It comes with that spacer. We're trying to get this bolt to focus. This bolt and spacer in there. It's kind of giving us a tight fit with that duct being in the way. You kind of see the one up here. Go the department in now, you kind of see how easy it is to go in. So I still have to put the hinges on, but literally it. But you guys can kind of get the idea. Obviously, no more airbag. You don't need no airbags. You don't need no airbags. Like I said in my video, this is actually off road only. That's how they sell it without an airbag because they don't want no liability if you get in an accident with no airbag. So it's off road only. But second gen's up until 97, never came with passenger airbags, so there you go. <laughs> it'll be fine. <laughs> Optimistic. Yeah, you guys got some hardware up top. You got the three bolts, and you got one on the passenger side over there. Speedometer is in. We were able to, which I can't even put my camera in here, but we were able to get those spacers in. I will say, do you have one of those little brackets? It, there's the little brackets you put on the back side of these bolts, and make sure they are lined up. Because that's part of the, yeah, these little brackets. Make sure they are lined up. Because it doesn't really matter here, but like on, like when you're these, trying to put, yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, make sure they're lined up because when you try to put these bolts in and they're not lined up, it's kind of a hassle to get those in. Obviously, we gotta get the uh, touch screen in here. We're missing the vents, a couple other things, but I just wanna kind of show you guys the progress so far. Everything's looking pretty good. I mean, it is sturdy. You guys can kind of see it's putting that bolt into that bracket I was talking about. You just gotta make sure they're perfectly lined up, or it's kind of a pain to put them in and out. We're gonna go ahead and take out the cup holders. If you have a manual or an automatic, you probably won't have this issue. But we're gonna go ahead and get the center console out. It gives us a little bit more extra room to put that kick panel underneath the steering wheel on. There's two bolts that bolts onto here. Yeah. And can't get to it, can't screw it in with this in the way. These are the two bolts we have to get to. Like I said, if you have an automatic, you might not have this problem, but the manual, we have to take out the center console to get to those two bolts. Jonathan's putting the gasket on the last piece right now goes on top so they make this removable so you can access your speedometer yeah, your and speedometer controls and, and everything like that i honestly didn't take us too long it took me longer to put it together honestly yeah. put the whole dash together i came with the last part like i said i was running late and so he already had everything put together so all we had to do is literally just put it inside the truck he already had the old dash took out and i was just telling him you know you see these online they kind of look rough and kind of corny, but then you see in person, he did have a powder coated black. So I think that makes a big difference with it instead of having this raw aluminum. Yeah, I was going to get it raw. I actually ordered it raw aluminum and the owner Landon, he emails me and he's like, Hey, you know, here are the, here are the directions for, you know, putting it together and installing it. And, uh, he's like, Hey, I saw you ordered it raw. Like, I'll powder coat it, no charge if you want to powder coat it. So I'm like, yeah, I'll, of course. I'll take some powder coating. So I told him this uh, textured matte black. His name was Landon, you said? Yeah. Is that where the L comes from in LRB? Landon and Rebecca, I think. Okay, yeah, Landon came through. And then their last through. name is B. They came through because the powder coating looks really sharp on here. Like I was saying, they kind of look, I don't, I'm not gonna say the, the word corny, but you kind of see them online. Then you see it in person, and man, it makes a huge difference. All right, Jonathan's hooking the batteries up right now. Actually, I hear something clicking. Yeah, it's probably the relay. You got your hazards on, I think. Four ways. Oh, four ways laid up. So that's good. I seen you had the one turn signal, but this one didn't come on. That worked. My cab lights work. Yeah, the cab lights turned on. They look really cab good. Lights, guys. Yeah, I don't have a bulb in there, but. Oh, that's probably I... why that one's not working. Why are my cab lights not working? Didn't even touch anything. I mean, I touched the switch, but. All right, sun's going down in Alabama, as you can see. So we're about to wrap this video up. Final thoughts on the dash. Came out good. Um, it was a little touch and go hard, hardness wise, trying to get how, the uh, three bolts in there. How long would you say would, did it take to, to put the dash together and then us installing it? So if you guys are curious about getting this dash, how long did they need to? Uh, with me, you know, just working on it every now and again, going inside because it was really hot today from like nine until two, so okay, like so not 10, 11, 12, one, two, five hours. <laughs> I mean, that's just, you know. That's why you used to run around yeah. and everything too. Recording also. I know, I know you were waiting on me, so you're probably just screwing around. And then you got here about four or something, two hours to put it in. 
That wasn't too bad. Oh, and look. Oh, your power windows work now. Yeah, the locks just don't work. Like I was saying at the beginning of the video, we did a cab swap on this truck with... There's one way back there in the distance. Not this one, but the one way back in there in the distance. So this is actually a different truck that we put the cab on top of, which we didn't record because it was so windy that day. I wish I would have got footage of it. But anyhow, probably going to go ahead and close this video out now, which I'm kind of button up a few more things. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely let us know what you guys think of the dash. Did, it, you, did you tell them how much it costs? I did not. <laughs> did you want to break it to them? So I bought it without powder coating, but the guy threw him powder coating for free. So I paid $1,600 with powder coating. It would have been $1,900 for this dash right here. So you guys be the judge. Is it worth it for Like I said, it is made out of grand. aluminum. Yeah, aluminum no more plastic. Cheap. There's literally no plastic in here. Only thing left is the metal subframe. So I think it looks sharp. But like I said, let us know what you guys think of it. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.